In how many colors can we see the sun? Probably, each of us has had the opportunity to witness truly amazing sunsets, when the sky takes on various combinations of colors, from blue to pink purple or fiery orange. The sun, which appears as a bright yellow star that cannot be looked at directly in the middle of the day, at that moment takes on a red or orange hue, overall, the sunlight can take on various shades. For the sake of simplicity, let's focus on the seven primary colors of the visible spectrum for the human eye. It is worth noting one interesting and fundamental fact, the sun emits all seven colors of the rainbow. However, under what circumstances can we observe this diversity? To find the answer to this question, we need to determine the initial color of the sun. It is quite strange to see the sun in various colors and shades throughout the day, yet not know its original color. So let's find out the true color of the sun and learn whether one color is emitted more than the others. What color does the sun emit the most? If you pass sunlight through a prism, all seven colors will pass through it, which might make it seem like they are all produced in equal amounts. To obtain accurate data, spectroscopy is necessary, which is just a fancy term for a precise and detailed examination of the spectrum itself. So, which color do you think the sun emits the most? Do you think it's red? That's not quite right. Orange, perhaps. No again. Then it must be yellow, you say. And once again, you'd be mistaken. In reality, the color that the sun emits the most is green, how is this possible? And if it's true, why have we never seen a green sun? Why is the green sun not actually green? There are numerous reasons why we cannot see the sun's green emission from Earth. The primary reason is that our atmosphere scatters shorter wavelength light. To put it simply, the atmosphere filters out light from the blue part of the spectrum, which gets directed towards the shorter wavelengths. And when it comes to the green color, it's important to know that it's an intermediate color between blue and yellow. Since the atmosphere takes away the blue color, what remains is light predominantly rich in yellow color. That's why the sky appears blue and the sun appears yellow. Despite the fact that the sun emits green light primarily, all the other colors of the rainbow are also present in its emission. Their combination gives us white light. This means that we will never be able to see the sun in green color with our naked eyes, unless we wear green tinted glasses. So the initial color of the sun is white, even though it emits the most green light. Can we see a white sun from Earth? If you look at the sun at its peak during the day, which is something you shouldn't do, it will appear more white than yellow. This can be explained by the fact that the light passes through a thin layer of the atmosphere and scatters less, thus showing its original color. Due to the same scattering phenomenon, it's very difficult to perceive it as white at other times of the day. However, if you could venture into space and look at the sun from the side, not directly, you would see that it's just a big and bright white sphere. And what about the orange and red colors? In fact, these are the safest colors of the sun to observe with the human eye. But why do we see so much solar radiance in various shades of these colors, from bright to crimson? We can observe the orange and red sun during sunrise and sunset. The reason for this, once again, lies in the scattering of light. Colors with shorter wavelengths, which include the blue side of the spectrum, scatter away, leaving only the red part of the spectrum. That's why we see so many different shades of red, orange, and yellow during dawn and sunset. Purple, indigo, or blue sun. We already know that our sun emits all colors, including violet, indigo, and blue. Additionally, on the night sky, you can often see bright blue stars. So, if our sun emits these colors, why have we never seen a blue sun in the sky? As mentioned earlier, our atmosphere absorbs colors with shorter wavelengths, including violet, indigo, and blue. However, besides scattering, these colors are higher in the energy spectrum due to their shorter wavelengths. Because our eyes are very sensitive to blue light, 
our eyes essentially cancel out the violet color and lump indigo into blue. If the sun emitted more blue light, like the blue stars in the night sky, our eyes might have evolved to perceive these colors. However, our sun doesn't emit enough blue light, and as it ages, its color will continue shifting towards the red end of the spectrum as its temperature decreases. In conclusion, we will never see our sun in such cool colors.